Hi, I'm Laura GB, and in this video today, we're going to look at triggering a Microsoft data pipeline from Power Automate. So let's take a look at our data pipeline. Here it is. And it's only got one action. It doesn't have to be a complicated pipeline, but it's just a demo. OK, so here's my pipeline. And if you're going to have a look in the Microsoft documentation of how to run an on an on demand item job, they've got the example of a pipeline there at the top. They've got the URL that's required. Link to this is in my blog post. Link is down below. OK, so that's the URL we need. And if you look, it wants a workspace ID and it wants a pipeline ID. And if you go back to our, my pipeline, there in the URL at the top, the part after groups is the workspace ID. And the part after pipelines is the pipeline ID. So let's go to Power Automate to build a flow. So I'm going to go for new automation. I'm inside a solution. OK, so I'm building an instant flow in here. I'm going to call it trigger pipeline and we're going to go for a manual um, trigger and then let's click create. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple of variables and I'm going to use the initialize variable action and we're going to go for workspace ID which is going to be a string And I've put in the value from the URL on my pipeline. Let's just quickly rename that step. OK, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing, but for pipeline ID. So there we are. We've now got our two variables. I'm now going to add in a new step to build that whole string. And I'm going to use a compose step. So the compose step is making use of that URL from the documentation from Microsoft. OK, so it starts with. And we can just build the string. OK, so it starts with workspaces followed by. I'm then going to follow that by. The variable workspace ID. Items pipeline ID and then the end of that comes from the Microsoft documentation. So there's my full string. So now we're going to add a, another new step. And this one is to do that HTTP request. And we're going to use a connector that's called a pre-authorized one. So invoke a HTTP request pre-authorized. Please be aware it's premium. So you do need to have a license for this. OK, so this first time I've done it in this environment. So it's asking me for the details of the login. OK, the first part it's asking for is the base part of the URL. Now, normally that is the beginning part of that URL. So we're going to go with that. And then there is the URL for the um, identifying the resources being used. So it's Entra ID wants it. And for this one to work, we need it to be pointing at um, this URL. All these details are in my blog post link below. So click sign in. And once we're signed in, it gives us the a form to fill in. So we know this is going to be a post and the URL of the request comes from the compose. So let's save that and then do a test. So we're going to click the test button. We're going to click continue that we're happy with with that as a connector. We're then going to click run flow and then we're going to so many buttons to press and then we're going to click done and then we're going to wait. OK, and this can take a whole minute. And there we go. It's done the steps. But if you look, 
that in Vogue a HTTP request has come back as a fail. So let's go and have a look to do a check on our pipeline. And if I look at my view run history, you'll see there at the top, there is one running. OK, and that is the one that we've triggered. So there we are, we've got it triggered and it's only a short flow, so therefore it's succeeded. It's just run. But our flow shows it failed. And that is because if we go and have a look at the documentation, the response we get back says no body. So because no body is returned, therefore Power Ultimate assumes it failed. So we can trigger a Microsoft Fabric data pipeline from Power Ultimate. I'm Laura GB, and if you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.